Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and so before we start today guys I want to say a massive massive thank you to you all as, as um, some of you probably know I did send a message out um, a few hours ago now but yeah we hit 7,000 subscribers we're now at 7,015 as of um, filming this but yeah just a huge thanks to all of you guys it is absolutely crazy how we've just approached it and we're already flung past it and already yeah, 15 above it. So yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to all. It's absolutely crazy. And actually, I'm hopefully going to film a special and have it out by Monday for 7,000. So I've already got an idea uh, what to do for 7,000. Um, a few guys did recommend it as well in the Discord um, server of yesterday. So yeah, just again, a huge thanks to you all guys. It's absolutely amazing. You're the best fans in the world. And yeah, without you, I probably wouldn't be here. So yeah, massive, massive thank you to you all. It's absolutely amazing how well... Um, things have gone there but um yeah anyways uh, moving on to what we've got so today um i have a new custom neptune to show so yeah we're gonna go over to um, neptune first and actually yeah we're in my custom solar system we'll also need to replace the uranus today so i need to insert the new one in here but yeah we'll head to the new neptune first so yeah here is um the current one i have been rolling with the neptune custom so yeah it does look pretty cool um, obviously, um, pretty nice, but it did need some adjustments. Um, so yeah, that has finally been done. So if I go ahead and search um, up here on modded, here we go, like this. Right. So yeah, I have two variants of this um, Neptune as well. So we have a dark version and a light version. So yeah, we'll go ahead and place the dark version. So here it is. Here, I'm gonna click that, and there you go. Look at this. So it even has like a bit of like whiter clouds. Obviously, the real planet has some white clouds to it. Um, yeah, we um, looked at some images for this as well but yeah all credit goes to mr miss lot because he made this um guy for me took quite a while as well um i believe it obviously because all these bands that's not an easy process i believe it did take him quite a while so yeah massive um thanks to him it's really really cool um the way this is looking i mean the north pole with like the darker blue it is looking really good and if i actually go ahead and spawn in the uh, light version as well so we have a more shiny version and this version is actually supposed to be used at the distance of neptune because if we go to realistic mode it's a lot brighter than the other two just because it reflects like a lot it's, it's pretty pretty cool um the way that is done but yeah if i just go compare them to the original um neptune right now so here's the original so we'll place it um there so you can see that the original also had like a darker blue section at the top so that's sort of what we were going for um with this one here which i think is looking pretty cool and also the um, original neptune did have some white clouds to it as well you can see there's some white areas so there yeah we brought those white areas onto this one as well you can see there's some lighter areas especially like this area here for example that like white band you can see going around it all blends together very nicely we've also got more bands to it it's looking really really cool as well so yeah, we're going to insert that neptune into this system as well it's really really cool the way it looks I will I'll insert the regular Neptune for this system just so it like stays realistic with it being dark and stuff. So yeah, we'll go ahead and insert that uh, momentarily. But then also we do have the custom Uranus and previous updates that we need to add in here. If I just search Uranus and it was Uranus, um, this Uranus here, this is the banded upgraded one. So you can barely see the bands on it, but they are there. It's very, very hard to spot. And this is sort of what we need on a custom Saturn. Very, very hard to spot the bands, but they are there. So, yeah, there is that. But anyways, yeah, we'll go ahead and start off with the Uranus first as we insert this into the custom solar system because, yeah, it's been um, overdue on doing that. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and start off with that as well. So if I just get the orbital stats up here, quickly um, have a look at those. All right, so I have a copy of them. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and spawn the new one in. But yeah, really, really cool stuff, um, that new Neptune. A massive, massive thanks to Mr. Mislot again for making that, because it's really, really cool the way it's looking. I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. I think it looks great. So yeah, massive thanks to him for that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and then enter the value we need for these. So, okay, 18.2. Okay, so you're already on 18.2. Then the eccentricity, we want 0 0.000102 like that. Then inclination. We need 0 0.625, so we need to quickly change one value in there, like so. Okay, then this one here, we need 263. Next value is 110. And then the anomaly, well, that doesn't really matter what value that is. But yeah, we can see it's on the orbit of Uranus now. So we've got the nice new Uranus added in here. So we can go ahead and delete the older version. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. So now we have the new banded upgraded one from previous update for this system. Now, moving on to the awesome Neptune. Oh yes, this is the this is just so cool the way this one looks. So here it is. So Neptune. So we do have a few other copies, but yeah, this is my uh I guess I'll use this as my personal custom Neptune for systems and stuff because this looks really really cool and I'm really happy with the way it looks. So yeah, there it is here. 
So modded Neptune. It just look, look at the blue. It just looks so good. So yeah, here is um, Neptune. So I will now get um, those stats. All right. So let's go ahead and input it into the new one here. So here we go. Right. So we need to do some big changes um, with this guy here. All right. It's 166. We need to put that to 165. Right, 30.1, 29.8 we need here. Here we go. 30.4, we need that to go to 30.3. So, slight change there. Eccentricity, that's um, quite annoying. So, it's a triple um, zero again. So, instead of that being a seven, that needs to be an eight like that. So, we go eight, then delete two, four. There we go. Inclination, 1.77. Here we go. Pretty good for entering these stats in now. This one's 248. Longitude, 132. And then the anomaly, well, it doesn't really matter because it's on the same orbit now. But yeah, there you go. So yeah, we've got the new one added in. Then we have the old one here. So we can go ahead and delete that one now. As it, we have now have the new one in here. So we'll go ahead and name it Neptune as well. Um, like it should be. There we go. So Neptune. Like so. All right, there we go. So now we have the... Uh, it all updated to the um, current customs for each object. So now if we... Um, yeah, definitely got to throw a save in. I definitely want to not save this. So let's go save. There we go. All right, so now let's go in chart mode and have a look at all of these guys together. So here we go. Oh, yeah, look at the Neptune. It's looking so good. You can really see the color in it, which is looking good. So we still have the Jupiter. That's still um, being updated. Uh, someone is working on a custom Saturn as well. So that's... We could have a custom Saturn eventually. Obviously, we've got the Uranus here looking absolutely amazing. Then we've got the new Neptune. Oh, look at it. It just looks so good. So, yeah, there it is there. All nice mix of bands, all blended together very nicely. Then we've got the old Planet 9 out here. One of the oldest custom ones in this system. Then we've got Venus, Mars, the custom Mercury, custom Pluto, custom Mirius, custom Sedna. And then the Goblin far out all the way down there. So... Yeah, there we go, guys. That is the new custom Neptune. And just look at it. It just looks absolutely amazing. Probably could make a really, really cool thumbnail with this guy as well. It just looks so cool, the blue on that. It just looks so pretty. So, yeah, pretty nice um, gift to have for 7,000, I guess, because he literally made it hours before I got 7,000. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, for 7,000 subs, we've got a brand new custom Neptune looking absolutely amazing as well. Just, oh, it just looks so good. So, yeah, there is that, guys. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more. I guess uh, it helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers now. Probably quite a few uh, months away from that. But, yeah, I guess we can could just continue going and see how high it gets. But, um, yeah, just huge thanks to 7,000 again, guys. It's absolutely amazing um, the way things have gone. And, yeah, just absolutely amazing all the support, the likes, the comments. Obviously, everyone in the Discord, massive thank you to you for being there as well. It's absolutely awesome. We have our own little community now. Yeah, massive thanks indeed. And yeah really really cool L loving the way things are going right now so yeah i hope to keep this up for another few years or so at least i mean it's my uh third year of making videos almost now been it's about two and a half years so yeah it's pretty cool universe sandbox is still um fun as ever with all of these custom objects and stuff but um yeah that is all that out of the way guys so yeah make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye